Yo guys, welcome back to another video. I have at this point lost count of what video this is. I think it's week number four now. I think. But today we are going to be taking a look at the net worker on the southeastern high speed. Uh, so I do believe we're going to go to explore training. The class of 465 9 introduction. This is what we want. This is also known as the network for the Southeastern Network. Um, I'll see you guys when the game has loaded up. And the game has now loaded up class 365-9 introduction. What a beauty this train actually is. Welcome to driver training here at Gillingham Depot. Today you'll be learning to drive this class 465-9 in southeastern livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. Can I just say the weathering and the detail on this train is actually really impressive. It's the amount of weathering and the small minor little details they've done for this train. It's, it's actually put this train here to shame. This train looks more nice and clean and new to a certain extent. Okay, fair enough to be a weathering at the bottom, but this one's all run down, scratched, and the detail of this is it's amazing. It looks this is the first time I've actually seen this before in the game as well. Right, we need to call the board, I think. Oh my god, that's the board. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. I'm actually really surprised by the amount of detail, the level of detail with this train is incredible. It's amazing. Activate the control desk, set the master key to on. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Set the exterior lights for the expected operation. You can tell just by looking at this from inside, it's an old train and it is an old train. But even the train, the, the level of details. Time to get going. For this introduction, you'll be driving from here, Gillingham Depot, to Gillingham Station and then on to Rochester. This unit features a combined power brake controller. To accelerate, move this control into the power range. To slow down and stop, move this control into the brake range. Apply some power now to get moving. Oh. I'm just really amazed by the level of detail of this. I shouldn't be, because this is Dovetail Games. Dovetail Games, the level of detail of the games is generally just amazing. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. But there is quite a lot of detail in this. Why do I get feeling we just messed up? No, we have not, thankfully. Let's try to play it. 
I'll go have to do a passenger journey on this later. I think. The more it does sound quite realistic. Although I think I've only been on this road once or twice. Um, but from what I remember, it does sound like that. We're just approaching to the station now. Speed limit approaching coming into the station is 60, but we're not going to be going up to 60. We'll probably actually stay about what we're doing now, 15 miles per hour. To slow down and stop, move the right power brake controller into the brake range. To I do that and the speed limit comes straight back down. Wow. But I'm honestly impressed by the amount of detail with this train. It is a nice little feature to the game, I think. is just coming up here in front of us. Oh wow, the braking is really good as well. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting the braking to be that good actually. Yeah, there we go. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. So I could be wrong, but I think the reason for this here is to give you a bit more control of what set draws. So if I was coupled to another unit, I would be able to, if I was, um, say this was the middle cab, I'd be able to only open the front doors or only open the rear doors. If I need to or wish to do so. I just thought so much slightly interesting actually. Would it be possible to couple this with the electro the for the electro styles in this game? Hmm. That might be after so I'll have to try it in a another video. And here we go. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Continue this brief stopping passenger service to Rochester unguided this time and see how you get on. Even these door binds, they, they do look very good. Yeah, they sound about right, the motors. And here's one of our other trains. So I'll speed moving a speed decrease more than just there uh, 30 miles an hour. Long. Just accelerating up to 60 miles an hour, you can see the top right out of the There is a bit of things coming up quite short to be able to break back to the short 
we found out on the post of the station back there, the brakes are actually quite good on this train. Um, so we could probably get away from leaving it quite late. Bad now is about right. There we go, 50 miles per hour now. And we've got 30 coming up to the lake as well. So we're just going to put in a step of brake application now. Start with the train speed back down to 30 as we come up to that. Back to the other jobs now, and then up 10 miles to go, 10 miles to go, just do this. So you can see the speed ball now just in front of us. The speed is trading to now about 30 miles an hour, which is cut off the brakes. Chatham Station, New South, do believe just on the other side of this tail here. Yeah. And as you can see, the speed has crept up a little bit. It's going to put a bit of breakage on. So I'll bring the speed back down as we go through the tunnel and to chat to them. It's the end here. Coming out of the tunnel, we've got the platforms directly in front of us here. As we have a four car unit, we will be stopping on this, um, the other half of the platform. Just going to step two brake application, though that's probably not necessarily the unit and the brakes. We are just going to use up and come to a step one momentarily. As we go a bit closer, we are going to go back into step two and then shortly into step three or not. Although we are going to go to step three to hold the train there. Doors now opening, and I've lost my train. There it is. Yeah, let's have a quick look on the inside. Um, I'm just trying to see if they've got the maps, but it doesn't look like they have. Oh, no. That's probably got the, the biggest level down by the hand that the maps in the train and the posted that you need to get on the South Eastern Service. But it's saying now, I don't think I've got the other train either, so. Well, I've watched this train, it's actually really good. It's really good. This is definitely worth, I think, the 12 quid we get to be paid for it. I've just noticed those two lines. I've never noticed them before. And the doors, now time to close the doors. Just wait for the interlock light, there we go. Uh, now we're going to head up to Rochester. So we have full power out here, up to 30 miles per hour. The sound of the motors, they are brilliant. I can't get over these motors now. That sounds so accurate. And we are about a bit too fast there to just put a bit of brake shot to put the speed back now. Rochester's about 0.7 miles now. So we should, should be there shortly. We've got 270 yards in a moment. As you can see there, we've got a double portion race. So at this point, we would get the AWS alarm going off. I don't have a safety system to turn on this train service as it is the tutorial I that has gone off yet. But when we play the other videos, the future videos, we just resume it, we will have the safety systems such as AWS and DSD switched on and therefore you will hear their arms going off. As you can see just up ahead we do have a single yellow one hour road or traffic or left. So this does tell me the next signal is probably going to be out of danger. We also got to proceed past this with caution and be able to stop within sight distance. Once we pass this signal, yeah. We are going to bring the speed down to about 15 miles an hour. And this is just so we can be able to stop with the distance we can see clear. So I'm pretty confident if I was to come up to 20 miles an hour at this point, we will be able to stop by the end of that platform. 
it's not really kind of just twenty miles an hour, but I can see the truck ahead, it's clear. And I'll be able to stop that distance. As we come up this bend, I'm gonna to have to bring the speed back now so I can stop within slight distance. So I can say, as we have proceeded with caution, we've got to be able to stop within the distance we can see clear. And coming back in 20 miles an hour, we will be able to do that. As you can see there, we do have the danger signal just in front of us. I do believe this is where the train terminates anyway, so that's not really a major issue. We've got about 50 hours till we're due to stop anyway. And we're doing about 8.5 miles, so hopefully we won't massively, massively overshoot like we did in the last train team video. And there we go, we have stopped. So it's time to start on the doors. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. And that's probably going to be the end of the video. There. Um, I really like this train. This is a nice train, actually. I would. I'm glad I got this train now. Um, so yeah, that's all I've really got to say about this. Um, it's a really nice train. I'm glad I got it. I do think it is worth the 11.99 that Dovetail Games charge for it. Um, I do have to say though, if you don't have the Southeast and High Speed route from London's version, don't get a 465 because it won't work. Other than that, brilliant train. If you've got the route, get this train. It's just a, a wonderful addition to the services. Um, other than that, that's going to be it for me for now. If you want to see the most latest video, click the video up in the right hand corner to subscribe to this channel. Click the icon in the left hand corner. Let's go check out this Bob G's uh, YouTube channel. It's the logo in the bottom the left hand corner. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.